Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this week 4 assignment of Internet of Things video. So friends, I hope every question is correct. Uh, but if you change, if you think there should be any changes, uh, please comment in the comment section. And before the submission moment, once again check the comment section to get the updated answers. Maximum, I think uh, there will be no changes. If any rare change occur, up change occurs, I will mention in the comment section. So friends, don't skip the video. Please watch full video because if you skip, you may miss some content or if I change any solution, you may miss that. So please watch full video. Moving on to the first question. When an intruder enters into the agricultural field through the boundary of the field, Dash sensor can be used to detect the object. So we know that that is PIR sensor. So and next one and then dash sensor is used to sense the distance at which the object is located. It is ultrasonic sensor. So the answer is option A. Option A is correct. So mark option A as correct answer for first question. And moving on to second one, dash is defined as all the nodes are connected in the network so that sense data can reach to sync node. So for second question, the correct answer is option B, connectivity. So mark the second option as correct answer for second question. Option B. And moving on to third question, the objective of coverage in WSN is, so for third question, generally we know that we should use minimum number of div, uh, stuff and we should get maximum uh, duration. The same way in general life and in the sensor uh, topic also, we use to use minimum number of sensors and should get maximum network lifetime. So the same way applies here also. So answer is option A. That is to use minimum number of sensors and maximize the network lifetime. Option A is correct answer for third question. And moving on to the fourth one. State true or false. The statement one is if this transmission range less than or equal to two star. Uh, Sensing range coverage implies connectivity. The statement is absolutely false because it should not be less than or equal to. It is greater than or equal to. So they give just opposite. So the given statement is false. So mark option B. Next moving on to fifth question. A mobile entity that, that collects the data from sensor nodes goes to the sink and delivers the collected data from different sensor nodes are called. So it is called data mules. So mark option C. And moving on to fifth question. Human centric sensing is possible because of guys here actually they mentioned two options here smartphone and PDS and also miniature prolification but if you want to see the exact uh, terminology they given the miniaturization and proliferation, proliferation of devices gave rise to different types of paradigms so in that context gave rise to is same as the meaning is possible so if this matches with this word then b will be the answer otherwise both a and b will be the answer as specified in c option so i am not sure about sixth question because it is tricky so if I feel the correct answer, I will mention in the comment section. So once again, visit this. But I am not sure at present. So 
I am skipping this question. Moving on to seventh one. Which of the following are the roles played by humans in human centric sensing? So for seventh question, the answer is option D, all of these. So mark option D. Moving on to the eighth question. Which of the following is not not a goal of participatory sensing? Guys, they are already given uh, that it is not um, not just collect data but allow common people to access data to share knowledge. But they are asking not the goal, so it is not the answer. So it is the answer, and also only it is not directly mentioned to only access data, but it is implied by this statement that it is not only to access but also to share. So I think A and C both will be the answers. So I am going with option D. Both A and C will be the answer I think. But they just directly mentioned only option A there in the lecture. But option C may also be implied based on the option D. So option D, I am going with option D. If you are thinking the other, uh, please comment in the comment section. Moving on to ninth question. The po two popular network topologies in UAV networks are so for ninth question the answer is option B mesh and star guys except first and eighth question uh, sixth and eighth questions everything is sure so mark option B for ninth question moving on to the tenth one which of the following is not an issue in UAV networks? So for 10th question, the answer is option A. Slow change in network topology. So mark option A as correct answer for 10th question. And moving on to 11th one. The scalability in single UAV system as compared to multi UAV system. So they are asking about the single one, single UAV. So it is limited. So mark option A. And next one, twelfth one. Typical types of mesh networks in UAV networks are. So for twelfth question, the answer is option C. Flat mesh and hierarchical mesh. Mesh. Moving on to thirteenth one. State true or false. Statement 1. SCADA is designed for isolated systems using proprietary solutions whereas MTM is designed for cross-platform integration. It is absolutely true. So mark option B as correct answer for 13th question. Moving on to 14th one. Which of the following is not a feature of, feature of M2M? So for 14th, the answer is option B, high cost. So mark option B. Moving on to the final question of the assignment. That is 15th question. Which of the following is not an M2M node type? So for 15th question, the correct answer is option C, out end node. This does not exist. So it is the correct answer for 15th question. So mark option C. So friends, these are the solutions for week 4 Internet of Things sol assignment. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, comment in the comment section. And if you have clarity regarding the leftover questions, you can also please comment in the comment section. So I will try to uh, collaborate with you and get the best result out of us. So for further more videos like this, please keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.